Hi and welcome to the EdTech District. In my previous video, I showed you how you can add co-teachers and students to your Google Classroom. It's also possible to add guardians. And I'm going to walk you through the process. By default, the function is turned off. You can see as a teacher, I have no button or anything that lets me invite the guardians. So my G Suite for Education admin has enabled that function. Let's do that right now. I move to my administrator account. So your admin will see this. This is the admin console and your admin needs to go to the menu, go to apps, G Suite and classroom. And under general settings, there will be teacher permissions and guardian access. By default, guardian access is turned on. However, Teachers that are not verified as teachers will not be able to manage the guardians. So if you remember in my previous video, the first time you go to Google Classroom, it asks you if you're a teacher or a student. And if you select teacher, then you will be added to this group. It says here, this group, the group is called teacher group as a pending member. So I have now on the join requests, I have demo teacher one and demo teacher two. They said they are teachers and as an admin and now have to manually verify and approve the applicants and verify that they are teachers. And then they will be added to the classroom teacher group. You can see that when I click on all members, they will appear here. If a student when they open Google Classroom for the first time, and instead of clicking on, I'm a student, they click on, I'm a teacher, they would also end up in the join requests. So if that happens, then your admin needs to manually delete those uh, join requests from the list. And then your student accounts will be, well, a student account. So right now I have approved those two teacher accounts. Now let's see if I go back to my teacher account and I refresh the page. Let's see what happens. I now have the button that says invite guardians. So when we click on it and for my student right now, I'm just using the demo guardian email address. be, I don't know where you get your email addresses from uh, for the guardians. It could be um, from your school management system, or maybe the parents give you the email address. But once you have the parents email address, then you can invite them to receive summary emails. The thing about inviting guardians to Google Classroom, as explained over here, is they receive a summary of their students' work and class announcements. They don't actually have the same access that students have. The students see the stream, they see the classwork, they see the grades and so on, but parents only see a summary of the work. An example is here. So when we click on the link and skip the introduction, and this is a sample email that they would get. So they see the work that's missing from last week. They see work that's due next week. And right now I'm inviting the parents of this student or the guardians of this student for my English class. And I can tick the box. So add all the classes you teach to guardian email summaries. I add that one. And I have invited my, the, the guardian of my student. Now the good thing about inviting the guardians is that only one teacher has to do it. And then the invitation and the guardian information will be available in all the classrooms where the student is enrolled. So in this case, the English teacher invited the guardians like we just did. But since this student is also enrolled in the science teacher's Google Classroom, the science teacher now checks out the people tab, then the invitation is visible there as well. However, by default, the science class will not be included in the summary email. And to be included, the science teacher now will have to go to the classroom settings, scroll down a little bit, 
and where it says guardian summaries teacher needs to enable this setting add the class to the summary and now our guardian will receive emails uh, one email one summary that includes the english classroom and the science classroom now let's have a look what the guardian actually sees so this is the guardian account and the invitation has been sent by demo teacher number two which is the english teacher when we click on the email it says get google classroom email summaries for a demo that's the name of the student demo teacher two invited you as a guardian in google classroom you'll get a weekly summary of demos progress with missing and upcoming work and new teacher posts sounds great the guardian can now click on accept or if the email was sent out by mistake or some other changes that person can click on i'm not the guardian for now since we are the guardian i click on accept and then i can set if i want to receive emails for this account yes and i will have to specify when I want to get the notifications or when I want to get the summary. It could be, could be a weekly summary, could be a daily summary, or if I don't want any summary, I can click no summaries. For now, I think a daily summary would be nice. I can also specify uh, my time zone so I get the summaries every day in the afternoon. So once the Guardian has accepted the invitation, they can now close this tab are done and we go back to the teacher account and as you can see in the beginning when we invited the parent or the guardian it was there as invited now that we reload the page once the guardian has accepted the invitation their name or email address will show up over here depending if they have a google account or not and i can now conveniently from google classroom by clicking on the three dots over here I can email the student or I can email the guardian. I can also remove them or I can invite another email account. So that's how you invite the guardians and communicate with students and their parents.